Hey, my name is Wilson with GuestGrow.com and I'm working on a project right now that can help restaurants pay zero commissions and zero fees by providing online ordering for their guests. Currently, I'm using WordPress to create restaurant funnels and bringing foot traffic to restaurants. And I think that there's another piece to WordPress where we can install WooCommerce and making, on, and making it an online ordering platform for restaurants so that they don't have to give up any of their margins or pay any monthly fees to enable that for their guests. Currently, where, I am, where I'm at right now is I need a way to eliminate the cart because right now what WooCommerce does is when you uh, select options and you go to this uh, bag over here, you go to a cart and then you have to proceed to checkout. And so what I want to do is I want to um, get rid of the cart because I feel like it's an extra step for the customer before the checkout process and it increases friction, therefore reducing the amount of sales that the restaurant would get. Okay, so I found a couple of free plugins. I'm only reviewing free, free plugins for this again because I don't want restaurants to pay for anything. So I'm going to go over the plugins that I found with you and I'm going to go over why I didn't go with the ones I didn't go with and why I went with the one um, that I did go with. Okay, so uh, the very first direct checkout plugin that I found is this one by Centangle or Kentangle Inter Interactive. Okay. It said direct checkout, so um, I thought it was a direct checkout plugin. I'm going to go ahead and activate it for you and show you why it wasn't really exactly what I was looking for. So after I installed and activated it, I went to WooCommerce and found that the settings were here under direct checkout for WooCommerce Lite. And it says enable disable direct checkout. Uh, and I, I thought that that meant it was going to um, take the cart away. But what it actually does is it just adds a button um, instead of after you add a uh, restaurant menu item, it tells you to view the cart. It actually tells to tell it actually tells you to go straight to checkout instead. Okay, there were some other cool functions here though. For example, um, you can change the add to cart button text. So for example, if you wanted to use uh, restaurant language instead of e-commerce language, instead of add to cart, you can put add to order, which is really cool. Um, but also expanding on this, this option was available in the other plugins as well. Um, this one says uh, show direct checkout button on shop page. So instead of um, add to order, it'll actually say buy now. Um, let me show you an example of that. So I'm going to go ahead and save these changes here. Then I'm going to refresh the page on the menu to show you exactly what that looked like. So right now it says select options and select options is a button that only shows if you have options um, or add ons like this on each of your um, on each of your menu items. <clears throat> but if I go ahead and uh, click on direct checkout button sh on shop page, I'm going to go ahead and click on save changes there, then refresh the page. I think it, yeah, so it adds a buy now button. And so when you click on this, it actually automatically adds it to the checkout and you go straight to the checkout page. Okay. Um, that's not exactly what I was looking for either. I don't like uh, taking my customers or I don't think restaurants like taking their guests straight to the checkout page when they're not even done ordering yet. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that. Okay. Um, there's also a buy now customization and all this is in the pro version. So uh, I'm not going to mess with any of the pro versions because those are all paid. And this is all this plugin really does. It doesn't really eliminate the cart. Um, I can, if I go back here, actually, I can actually go to the cart still. This page is still here and it still increases friction before the customer's checkout process. All right. So I'm going to uh, deactivate this plugin and move on to the next one. Um, this next one was actually very, very impressive. It's by this company called PI Web Solution. Um, it's totally free, so I'm going to go ahead and activate it there. And uh, the very first option by default, it says disable cart page. Okay, to show you what that looks like, I'm actually already on the cart, so I'm just going to go ahead and refresh and show you that it automatically takes me to checkout. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see menu one more time, and then um, I'm going to add something to my order. Okay, which is done. And then if I click on view cart, then actually it takes me straight to the checkout, okay? Where I can automatically, uh, I can even change my items here, which is another plugin I'm gonna be talking about and uh, choose date and time and all this stuff, okay? So this is exactly what I want. And the reason why I thought this plugin was really, really cool is because it had some other options as well. Um, for example, one of them was, you can also change the add to cart button text here to add to order, which I already did. Um, you can also add a quick view button, which is really, really cool. So for example, if you wanted to um, enable this, what this does is instead of um, the button where it says select options and it takes you to a different page, 
So select options actually takes you to the product page. What you can do is if you go back to the menu and click on customize option, it actually brings a pop-up instead. So it's less distracting for the guest or the customer to actually add this menu item. They can just click on add to order and then they can go back to the menu. Okay, so that was really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and disable that because I'm not gonna be using that for this site. And there's also checkout settings here um, or where you can remove the order comments and remove the coupon field. But I think those are already WooCommerce uh, standard standard options, okay? So this did exactly what I wanted it to do. So I'm gonna keep this plugin in mind. I'm gonna refresh this page to show you what it looks like right now, okay? Then I'm gonna go back to plugins. I'm actually gonna deactivate this because there's one more plugin that I wanna show you. Um, let's go ahead and deactivate this one by PI Web Solution. And there's one more, I believe, by um, one of the publishers of um, a plugin that I already use that actually ended up on top for managing checkout fields. Uh, it was by Quad Layers, I believe. So let me go to that Quad Layers one. I'm gonna go ahead and search Quad Layers. Oh, it's right here, actually. WooCommerce Direct Checkout. Okay, so I'm gonna activate this plugin and show you what this one was all about and why I didn't go with it. So the way I go to the settings after I activate it is I hover over WooCommerce. Then I can go to uh, direct checkout right here. All right. And so there is actually one good functionality in this plugin that I didn't see in the other plugins. And that was um, this add to cart link. I believe if I put yes on here. So just to show you, if I add this to the order, it'll say view cart, right? Um, but we don't have a cart anymore. And um, we actually go straight to checkout, right? So it might be a little bit confusing and the language might be a little bit different uh, for customers or users that use this website. So actually the functionality of this current plugin we're talking about by quad layers changes this button to say checkout instead. Um, so let me see uh, how I did that. So add to cart redirect. So, so what this does is if you add something to your cart, it, it automatically takes you to, to cart or checkout and we don't want that, okay? Um, here it is, it's added to cart alert, okay? So if I click on yes here and click on save changes, so I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna refresh this page. And so now the button goes to checkout, okay? So I actually like that this button says checkout now after the uh, user adds this to their uh, order, okay? So I'm gonna keep this one alive um, the other stuff, you can also replace the add to cart text, uh, but we already did that in the other plugin. Um, all these, uh, all these other options, I believe, uh, none of them, none of the useful ones are available on the free plugin. <clears throat> and then you have to go into the premium version for, uh, they, they try to sell you on the premium version. Okay. So this quad layers, um, plugin actually didn't do exactly what I wanted either, but it had that really cool functionality of changing this checkout button. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that active. Then I'm gonna activate the, the one that I found that I ended up going with, uh, which is the one by, by PI Web Solution. And when you have them combined together, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page again, okay? If you click anywhere to try to go to the cart, for example, after you add this item and click on this checkout, you'll go to checkout, okay? So if you're adding items here and you try to review your items on this bag over here and you click on the bag to try to check out, then it still takes you to checkout, okay? So I found um, the combination of those two plugins were really, really good. Um, if you know of any other plugins that um, I didn't catch for direct checkout to make this process look better uh, for zero free uh, restaurant online ordering, please let me know. If you also thought that I missed something in my evaluation of free plugins, um, then also please leave a comment below. If anything, if you found this video useful, then please like or subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.